Yeah, the cross navigation function. I like it. It is good. But, and there are some buts. Good morning. Welcome back. It's been a little while, I know. Been ill. Uh, I thought it was COVID to start with. It turned out to be a chest infection. And I've only just started feeling uh, more normal in the last two or three days. So, I'm on antibiotics. I mean, started running this morning and my chest still feels a little bit tight but I'm just taking it slow today I think is it two or is it three weeks I think it's two weeks we've been off but it just feels like training lately is it's been like a game of snakes and ladders you kind of make a bit of progress you feel like you're getting somewhere and then all of a sudden you're just going back down to a you're sliding back down to a past point you're not you're not progressing any further stepping backwards so yeah and I, I thought that was a, a pretty good representation of what running is actually like it is quite like a, a game of snakes and ladders sometimes you're making great progress and then even when you think you're doing good out of nowhere you roll that dice and you land on a snake and then it just halts your progress or you're taking steps backwards. Yeah, nice slow one today. Come out a bit early because it's a bit cooler. I was planning to go yesterday but it was roasted. Feel it. Tightness in the chest. So keep it nice and slow. I've been having a little think about my training as well. I'm either doing too much running and not enough strength work or while I've been off, I've been doing some strength work because it's less physical when I've got the energy. And obviously no running because of the tight chest, chest infection. So, realistically, three training sessions a week of running, three training sessions a week of strength training, I don't think that's something that I can consistently keep up and that is the goal of this year is consistency so I mean unless I was to squeeze them all together so I did the running and the strength training on the same day or maybe one of them on a different day I think that may be doable but I think for the time being what I'm going to do is uh, drop down to two days of running and two days of strength training. I feel that's more manageable and more likely for me to stick to. And that's the main thing in there. And that's something you can stick to. Because what I'm finding is that both are extremely important. One doesn't go without the other. I mean, you might get away with one without the other for a little while. Running without strength training, I mean. But I'm pretty sure you'll find at some point that you'll need to do some strength training. Yeah, so we're basically going to try and keep the whole thing consistent, which was the goal for the year anyway from the offset so I mean we were doing pretty well with consistency up until oh, was it beginning of April 
we've got an injury. And then since then, back to back with another injury. Had a week or two weeks back, and I've been ill. <coughs> so, unlucky run, but just gotta get back on that horse. Little bits of progress over a long time make a big difference. Still pretty new to running. I mean, as I say, I've only been running properly since January. So, where are we now? June, six months in. Still haven't done a proper race. A bit disappointed in myself in that one. But, especially over the last two months, not being able to train consistently. It's kind of put a little bit of doubt in my mind. But, yeah, I need to get something sorted. It is Saturday morning. I was thinking, do I go for a park run today? But, <coughs> I just thought I'd go local. Right. Ah, see what the chest was like. It's still a bit tight. We've been doing a bit walk and running. And yeah, sorry, the clouds are covering but it is still hot, I'm sweating. I have to take my t-shirt off. It is a bit more muggy today. I mean, it's only, oh, I can't even see the time. It was about 10 past 8 when I left. So, might be about half past eight now. Using the Coros watch on the navigation function today, I thought I'd set a little route out on the map. Because I've seen a few reels and YouTube shorts on it, and I thought I've got to try that feature out. Set it up, come out for a run, and it doesn't give you any of your stats. It didn't even say that it linked to my heart rate monitor. So I'm hoping it actually records it as a proper run because. <laughs> I can't see any details of what it's recording other than giving me directions. Unless I've set it up wrong. Uh, I don't know. Any of you use the Chorus navigation app or Chorus navigation function on? Like I've got the pace too, so I don't know. Might be different on the other models. But. Yeah, I'm hoping it's <laughs> recorded all the, the normal data that it does. But I just can't see any of it at the minute. So, yeah, I'm walking when I feel like my heart rate is getting up rather than looking and seeing it, which is probably a good thing. Get used to feeling rather than having to look. And this weather been lovely. I love the summertime, but from not a running standpoint, now that I've started to run, it's not, it's not that easy in the sun, is it? And it's piping hot. You like you take five steps and your heart rate's below 160, 170. <laughs> this route's actually really nice. You can actually see the level of the ground. <laughs> No potholes like that river run I did last. <sighs> Mind you, the grass was extremely long there, so even though it's been cut down, it's extremely dry. <laughs> been chased by a friend's dog. Sizes them are like dandelion puffball things, but they're huge. So this run's been successful. I don't feel too bad. A little bit of tightness in the chest, but I'm still well, day three of antibiotics, day four. So still got another three or four days left of them. So yeah, can't hope to be completely recovered just yet, but nice little run. So just 
take things gently for now and uh, stay consistent. Yeah, the chorus navigation function. I like it. It is good. But, and there are some buts. I can't see any of my normal running data. And I feel like as you've got the scroll wheel there, you should be able to switch off of the map and look at your running data that you've got in your normal run mode. Um, and if you've got turning coming up, then it'll snap back to the map. Um, I don't know, is that possible, Chorus? Is that something that could be added in? I just feel like a lot of people will probably want to see their data when they're running. That's why you put the data on the running mode, right? Um, but, I mean, it is good. Don't get me wrong. Like, if, especially if you're in a new area, you don't know it, you just want to get out for a little run. Not too bothered about seeing what your stats are, it's just an easy run or something. But, but yeah, I just feel like if you were to implement having those other data points that you could see, make it much better. And then, like I say, if there's a turn coming up, so you don't miss it, it'll snap back to the to the map. Pretty much done now. So I'm gonna leave you there. And uh, hope you enjoy your weekends. And I'll see you in the next one.